How's it going, everybody? My name is Swanee. Welcome back to another video. Guys, I just finished the last episode, which was episode four. I've got to get stronger. And needless to say, he definitely got stronger. Uh, but he gained like 20 levels in one episode. Went from, you know, struggling with a lichen to being able to take down the king of the swamp. So, needless to say, uh, Sung is overpowered. Uh, he, he basically one-tapped a D-rank boss, whereas before he struggled to take out an E-rank goblin. So, you know, I'm kind of getting the understanding that Sung is maybe B-rank? Because I'm, my logic is, is that I know Sung said that, hell, he's probably weakened, right? Which is why it only took one hit. But I just think that Sung has gotten that strong. I don't think... I don't think he was weak at all. Because they couldn't, you know, they couldn't even get through the barrier. I don't know. I think Sung is insane the guy ripped out i mean what was the king of the swamp c rank d rank he ripped out its throat i know i say like it's nothing because he got tossed around for a little bit but all he had to do was just jump up on on the throat and rip out its jugular but <laughs> yeah sung was able to take out the d rank boss you know towards the end of the episode with such ease and i'm kind of thinking that a c rank couldn't do it that easy although a c rank could probably take it out you know, maybe in 10 hits, right? Which is pretty easy in comparison. Uh, but, but Sung was able to do it in twos. I mean, he would theoretically, he would have done it in two, right? Once for the barrier and once for the actual beast. So, you know, I'm thinking Sung is maybe B rank at this point, which is so crazy to go from E to B rank in one episode. I mean, we saw him take out a Lycan and gain a level. So he's gained maybe at least 20 levels because there had to have been at least 20 Lycans plus the final boss plus the goblins, right? So... Sung's gotten pretty insanely strong. Pretty insanely strong. Nice. Yeah, Sung's gotten pretty insanely strong. Um, I think he's also kind of understanding that the other attributes are also really important, like agility and perception. So, yeah, you know, again, if you guys have ever played RuneScape or any game like that, maturing is realizing that all of your points should not go to strength or attack because the other attributes are also very important. And I think Sung is kind of understanding that because, you know, his strength is astronomically stronger, three times as strong, which, you know, in, in a game or something like this, that's a lot. So I think he's kind of understanding that, but also at the same time, after he beat the boss, he was pretty much saying, ah, more strength is needed. I got to get stronger, got to get stronger. For him, I understand because his entire life, he's been known as the weak E rank, the weakest hunter of them all. So to go from the weakest hunter of them all to what he is now is, is pretty damn impressive. Um, there at the end, I wanted him to kind of run up, save the day, save Joe He, and kind of get that that shock factor but he just threw the blade and stayed low-key kind of left the scene before anyone kind of realized who it was which is honestly so smart and you know again that initial reaction of mine i wanted him to just jump right in but for the sake of impact it would be so much more to reveal yourself to the public as once the weakest e rank of them all to now an insanely strong s rank like the impact would be so much more than to go from an e to a b rank so as much as i wanted him to jump in there i'm, I'm honestly glad for the sake of the shock factor that he stays low key and um it also gives off that that batman vigilante vengeance vibe where you know you work from the shadows right kind of go in take care of business and, and head out before the public sees so yeah i'm honestly really glad sung kind of went that route and yeah but he's gotten insanely strong the next level is the next level nice i think that's what i'm gonna start calling it but the next episode is a pretty good deal so I'm hoping Sun gets a pretty good deal. That'd be pretty epic. Um, what that could mean, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he got... Oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, I didn't even mention this in the last discussion. Damn. The fact that you can buy and sell stuff at a shop, open up your inventory. You know, it really is like a game. So, maybe a pretty good deal being Sun gets a great deal on a weapon. How funny would it be? Because, you know, in a game, there's sometimes, like, discounts, right? Like, if the game creator is feeling, you know, generous during Christmas time and he's like, hey, you know, all gems, 50% off or something like that. Maybe he gets a really good deal on a weapon from the shop. Maybe, you know, he gets a good deal on attributes. Like, hey, one skill point, you now get three points added to your attribute or whatever. I hope not. As much as I want to see Sung get stronger, the fact that he can already level up exponentially like that just from taking out an E rank or D rank dungeon, if he gets a good deal on the attribute skill points or, you know, insane weapons in the shop, that would take a little bit out of the grind, right? He's not exactly grinding for his levels. He just got a really good deal, uh, but maybe something else completely, but we'll find out right now. <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump right into the next episode. Okay. Damn, he's getting cut though. 
He's got the cheat code pop up window. What did he also age five years? Giga Chad sung? Did his voice change too? Nah. Did he get a haircut too? Bro, he just looks different. Maybe it is just his physique. The maturity too? I mean, obviously, if you get stronger. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what it's for. Sung, my boy. <laughs> now that Sung's looking good, he's gonna have to learn how to talk to women. <laughs> how, hold on, I'm sorry. How funny would it be if he upgraded his perception skill points and <laughs> the more his perception's gone up, the more he can understand like when a woman's flirting with him. How funny would that be? But then again, I wonder if I wonder if that translates over, right? Because his we got to see his perception pick up when he detected the boss. But I wonder if it works like from people as well. I don't know, but that's funny. Oh my gosh, she's not gonna recognize him. Yeah, his forearms. He's been beefing up. <laughs> he just looks completely different. It was a haircut. Right? Because he had the, like, the weird... Yes, because he had the bowl cut before. Oh. Carry an umbrella. It is, bro. Okay, so the perception actually works in real life. Where, you know, not just to dungeons, right? <laughs> level 18. Okay, so it wasn't 20 levels. True. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna... Perception, agility. Wow, dude, he's got 12 points to spend. Damn, where to put it? Okay, so we did agility and perception. Yeah, his face, too. He's just matured. Like I said, he's aged like five years. Chaihan. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, stay low key. Dude, he's a completely different character. Yeah, and he's gonna go in and just show up everybody. Bro, he's gonna go in and just shit on everything. <laughs> Everyone's gonna, just gonna be... Oh, I love this. Everyone's gonna be in awe. Dude, that perception is crazy. Mm. It's alright though, because they got sung now. Mm. These pirates? I'm getting the gist that it's so sus. No liability, no healers. Yeah, bro, that gear is insane. Here. <laughs> 
maybe they won't backstab? Because he's not getting any rewards anyway. Yeah, his confidence too. Yeah, she's so different. Hmm. Yeah, I was getting the same vibe. Maybe Sung was right, this guy has rich parents because he's got insane gear for not knowing a thing. Nice. Oh yeah, hence all the holes in the wall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, very ragtag team. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is actually weak. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll trust Sung's judgment. If he says something feels off. Oh, I thought it was Sung, but I guess he only took out one. <laughs> Okay, so the guy with the shield and the armor isn't in on this group. Yeah, definitely a little suspicious. Okay, it's this guy. Damn! Yeah. Okay, S ranks are different. Oh, that wasn't even a warm up? Holy shit. I don't think that the guy with the armor is in on the group. Okay, so that that's the good deal. Mmm. Yeah, I'm feeling some some pirate vibes. I mean, but Sung's just an E-rank, so what could they possibly want from him? Maybe just use Sung as like a meat shield? Because why else would you be fine with taking an E-rank who doesn't have anything? And you make him sign off on liability. <laughs> Yeah, and it just so happens to come up on a, a score like this, all this mana crystal. Hmm. Nah. Okay, yeah, so they're just the bait while they go and get the, the goods. Which means they would also need two other people, right? Yep. Which is why they leave him for dead. Yeah. Wow. 
中には防犯カメラもないし全員抹殺してしまえば証拠も出ない、True. そうやって弱い者を敵をおびきを<笑> As bait Yep I don't think so. I think they would have done it regardless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the perception is insane. Oh, this is no match for Sung, though. Damn. All right, song. Let's go. Mess him up. Oh my God, I love this. It's raps. Confidence is insane. Oh my God, bro. Are you fucking joking me? The real hunt begins is the next episode. Damn, I'm looking forward to that. I know I said this the last time, and I feel like I'm gonna start saying this every single time, but these episodes are just flying by. We started out the episode with Sung and a six pack, and all the ladies kind of, you know, giving him some attention and talking about him. And, you know, I, I understood that he trained and had maybe gained some muscle, but to grow five years, you know, the maturity, the confidence, uh, the build, you know, his hair too, his, I mean, the voice, he's calm. Everything about Song is completely different. He's just a, a completely different character. And, you know, I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't really didn't think this was going to happen so fast. Um, you know, even the sister was surprised. She asked if he was working out and he was like, yeah, yeah, you know, a little bit. He only looks completely different. I'm surprised the sister wasn't like, yo, what the hell happened to you? Like, you know, you're, you don't even look like my brother. He doesn't even look like the same person at all. So... Yeah, we started the episode with that, um, pretty much kind of seeing him and his new developments. Um, as far as the dungeon, you know, he was kind of sussing them out from the start. You know, hey, here's this contract, no liability, you're not getting any rewards, nothing, but you do get paid, right? It's easy to buy into, maybe a little bit, right? It's like, alright, well, you know, I don't get the loot from the, the beasts, and, you know, I'm going in, kind of not a part of their crew, so, so maybe this contract isn't crazy, uh, but Sung is like, hmm, this also is too good of a deal. And, you know, he starts connecting the dots throughout, but was suspicious from the start. If you guys play these types of games, and you guys already have a level of understanding on how the show works. And I don't know if you've ever queued up with randoms before, but, you know, they're not your friends. They're not people that you know that well at all. If, you know, if they have a mic or if they don't have a mic. So if you can't even communicate with them, then, you know, sometimes you're more likely to bait out your teammate so that way you can get the rewards, right? It's, you know, I don't know this, I don't know this random, I don't know him, you know, I'm queued up in duos or trios and, you know, sometimes you bait them out. Every once in a while, sometimes for the sake of the meme, you bait out your teammate and, um, you know, sometimes if you just want to mess around with your friends, then you'll bait them out. But it's very common. You have this C-rank group and there's only six of them and you need eight to do a raid. And Sung makes the connection that the guy said in all of our raids, yet how come there isn't two more that you can call on for your quota? You know, how convenient, right? It's a little suspicious. Um, I was definitely picking that up. And the way that they would go off to the side and kind of not really include Sung and the other guy. I, I honestly thought the guy with the insane armor was kind of just playing dumb and he was going to be the one that baited out Sung. But, you know, throughout the episode, we kind of saw... The guy with the armor with Sung a lot and not with the other guys. So maybe his dad actually did give him some pretty insane gear on his first raid. Um, but uh, he was asking a lot of questions. But even then, that seemed suspicious. I was very skeptical of the entire situation. Yeah, I mean, it really did seem like too good of a, of a deal. When the entrance came crumbling down, Sung was perfectly fine. And he summons his dagger really cool and is now facing off against the spider. That's how the episode ends. I'm honestly bummed that we didn't get to see it. But, you know. That just means the next episode is going to be so hype. But yeah, I'm really loving how the show is going right now. I love the fact that everyone underestimates him. And he's just he's just cracked. He's insane. Uh, he's got a sleeper, you know, sleeper rank, right? You know, everyone's sleeping on our boy uh, Sung now. And just because he's an E rank, I bet you he could one tap every single guy. What, hello? Uh, pause? Uh, 
<laughs> anyway, I think what, I try, what I'm trying to say is that Sung could easily beat any of them. Um, I think that's the best way to put it. I know my maturity is showing very much right now. Uh, Sung's just become absolutely insane, and I just don't think, I mean, no one could have predicted that, but his perception's crazy. I mean, I think that's just the only word. He, he's so perceptive. He was able to see that, you know, everyone was kind of preying on them too from the start. But yeah, as far as Minosuke, that's all I have. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want the full reaction, it'll be on Patreon. I also have a Discord. Both of those links will be in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I hope y'all all have a good one.